Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Um, I usually don't make videos like this, but since I am on vacation, I decided, you know what? Let me go ahead and knock this out for y'all. So check it out. We got some of the first official news for NBA 2K22. Shout out to 2K Intel because they always got the leaks. See you know what I'm saying? But basically it looks like we got the release date, bonus content, and the cover athletes. Now we have Dirk Nowinski, Kevin Durant, and Kareem, as well as we got 100K VC, uh, how many versions of the game you will get with the purchase, as well as the release date. Now it says that the game is gonna be released September 10th. It's currently July 1st. We have yet to hear any real news, but what I did see was 2K decided to tweet out something about the highest rated uh, players in the 2K21 uh, lifespan. And they said, what about 2K22? Now, this is what they always do. They always drop screenshots with ratings. This is something that 2K has been doing for almost more than five years. So I can see why they're doing it now. But my thing is for them to just I guess get a leak out there. I guess maybe this was like one of those GameStop type leaks where people get the packaging and everything like that. Since that did happen, I guess it's cool and all, but I'm just waiting for 2K to actually start dropping news because we want gameplay, we want trailers, we want animations, we want lighting, graphics, color. We want to know everything about the game before the game even drops. You know what I mean? I, I can't lie to y'all. 2K21, the, the, the lifespan of that game, was very, very hard to watch. Not only did current gen outlast next gen, a lot of problems happened with next gen and a lot of people even weren't able to get all the consoles because PlayStation didn't release that many, Xbox sold a lot, but they didn't sell as many as Sony. And a lot of people have still been holding on to PS5s and Xboxes because they've been reselling them. So, man, I can't lie to you. The resale game hit the gaming industry hard. And I feel like 2K was also a victim of that, but also they had their problems that they needed to fix. And I guess like the way that the communication goes with devs and the community and fixing things and talking to developers and the actual publishers and talking to like Sony and Microsoft, it it just was a clusterfuck, bro. It was literally a clusterfuck because I remember when I became mayor, I was a mayor during the holiday time, like right around Christmas, right around the New Year's. And I was supposed to be having talks with the devs and none of that happened because everybody was on holiday. And when they came back from holiday, they had a long list of stuff that they had to do. They had a long list of patches that they needed to do. And when that patch came out in February, everybody was wondering why I was saying, yo, we're not getting a patch till February. The entire holiday time, from December to February, it's like, Apa, you don't know what you're talking about. Why would they drop a patch in February? Because it's holiday time, bro. It's that simple. But I don't want to keep you all for too long. Like I said, man, Dirk, Kareem, and Kevin Durant, cover athletes, as well as uh, 100K VC and every uh, iteration of the game and September 10th release day. Uh, again, shout out to 2K Intel. I'll drop the screenshot um, in the beginning and the end of this video. Make sure y'all like up, sub up. Um, I'm going to holla at y'all.